Hello, Kevin Richards here from Thomas Hall Fades Automotive. Today I want to show you a really uh, good looking, um, reliable, economical 2012 Honda Civic LX uh, model. Uh, this vehicle was locally owned and traded in recently. Uh, very well maintained, uh, very, very good person within the community. We know this car very well. Uh, we'll start really, it's kind of like a um, Kind of a brown, I guess you would say. I don't know, excuse me, exactly what uh, Honda's color uh, would call they would call this, uh, but it's a pretty kind of uh, uh, coffee brown, I guess you would say. Uh, we got brand new Mastercraft tires on here, probably about uh, nine, ten, thirty seconds. We do have wheel covers, a couple little scuffs on the wheel covers here, uh, but we do have wheel covers on the steel wheels, sixteen inch. Um, the brake pads are new in there. It's one thing we really pride ourselves here at Thomas. We do a used car mechanical check on all our vehicles. You can find the results in the report signed up by the mechanic that performed the inspection in the glove box of all our vehicles. Just want to make sure that the next owner knows as much mechanically about the car as we do. Like I said, we do have some prior service records on this vehicle as well. Looking at the interior, you got a beige interior cloth covering. You also have a beige carpeting there, a full console that runs in between. Manual adjustment on the passenger seat. Of course, this is in the compact car segment. You can see you still have ample leg, hip, and shoulder room in your rear. Uh, the previous owner was a non-smoker. Uh, there's no rips, tears, stains, or odors in this car. It's been really well maintained both inside and out. Uh, also, there again, just checking these rear tires. Not quite as much meat on the back. Probably about uh, 6, 30 seconds, I would say. Still Mastercraft tires. They all match. We do have a little scuffing on this wheel cover as well. Uh, we'll continue around to the back. As you can see, it is a Honda Civic. Uh, like I say, it is an LX. Let's just go ahead and pop the trunk here. Power trunk release, 64. Uh, excuse me, you just have one fold down there on your rear, so you have that extended uh, uh, space. Do have a dummy uh, dummy spare underneath with your jack uh, right there. And as you can see, spacious enough to fit all your cargo in. Again, a couple more scrapes on this cover. About the same 5, 6, 30 seconds on this rear Mastercraft as well. I'll give you a shot here from the other side. Like I say, interior is in very good shape. So is the exterior. It rips, tears, stains, or odors. And then one quick peek here from the driver's side. Also a manual adjustment on this driver's side seat as well. And next I'll just jump in here, give you a quick tour of the inside of the cabin. Kind of go over where all the uh, switches and layouts are on here. We'll start with the doors where you got your windows, your locks, and your mirrors all together. Jumping in here. Now we'll have a Carfax as well or an auto check. Uh, this is a two owner vehicle. Go ahead and start this up so you can see the miles. About 75,000 miles, I believe. Let's see if we can't switch that over there for you guys. There you go, 75, 6, 17. Now, uh, on some of our uh, uh, publications, it may say it has about 72, 73. It does have 75, 6. Um, we took it on a couple trips ourselves here. Uh, very good running car. Um, traction control button here. Uh, you have a e-com button if you want to uh, change your shift points, give you optimum fuel efficiency. Headlamp switches to the left of the stem, also your turn signal and your high beam. On the right stem is where you find your intermittent wiper washers. Different configurations, driver uh, 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 vehicle information systems can be accessed with that button there. Uh, menu for your sourcing, audio controls on your steering wheel, cruise control over here on the right. Um, as you can see, your display is up there. You have your digital dash up there. We do have a single CD audio system here, as well as AC. It's blowing ice cold. It really feels good in here right now. Um, you do have two cup holders. Of course, you have your manual adjustment on your uh, on your shifter there. You do have a center console here with your USB audio pre-out. So all your controls are pretty simple. Some map lights up there. No roof on this model. Um, now this is an inline four-cylinder engine, Ecotec. They've used this for a long time, the VTEC engines. Um, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Like I say, the previous owner was uh, very meticulous in their servicing. I'm sure this engine is going to look great. Very, very clean. No oxidation even on the battery. No exhaust leaks, no fluid leaks. Uh, very, very clean engine department, very well maintained. Let's go ahead and shut the engine off now. Get into the next portion of the video. Now I showed you some of the scrapes and scuffs that were on those wheel covers as we went around. That's really the next part of this. Just kind of go around, point out any minor imperfections. We try to be upfront not only in our pricing but also in the condition of our vehicles. 
Um, let's just go ahead and start with the fender. Now this vehicle, like I say, is clean. All the body lines are straight and clean, shows no sign of any prior paintwork. We do have some stone chipping across the front. It is kind of a low profile car, so it does pick up a couple stones. Don't see any real dents or major scratches on the door. Just a couple chips, a couple chips up here on the top as well. Roof line looks good, no dents or dings up there. We got some scratches, uh, probably from rings. We buffed them out as best as we could. Some scratches right here at the door handle. The previous lady that owned it did have some rings. Might have caught it a couple of times, very minor. Something again you see uh, with a lot of used vehicles. Um, again, some scratches back here in the back door as well, probably the same type of effect. Um, but there again, we buffed them out. They're just in the clear coat. You can't even notice them unless you're right on it and you knew they were there ahead of time. Uh, really, that whole side looks dent free. Like I say just those few little scratches and dings. Do have some scratches back here in this corner, might have brushed up against something here. Um, this is probably, these three are the heaviest of the scratches. They were actually into the base coat. Three there, about three inches. That one's about an inch and a half. Um, it's really the worst damage I've seen here as we've been going around. A couple little chips on the back, a couple little minor scratches loading unloading car go into the trunk deck lid looks good no dents at all that I can see a couple little nicks there on that quarter really nice and straight haven't found a dent at all nice little pinstripe that runs down that body line couple spattering of chips and a little bit of bug damage across the front here. We also have some, oh, there's a dent, there's one dent right there in the hood. We do have a couple little spatterings of stone chips across the hood as well. But man, on a 2012 with 75,000 miles, you're not going to find a car that is in better shape or better maintained with the service record, local trade, uh, efficient, uh, reliability of Honda, economical, won't be here long. I uh, urge you, if you're interested, give us a ring, 717-485-4224. Look us up on the web at uh, www.thomasata.com. Again, my name is Kevin Richards. Appreciate your time watching this video and wish you an excellent day.